Now, live from WJZ 13, you've got eyewitness news. Rise and shine with Don Scott and Marty Bass, people who help make eyewitness news. Baltimore's favorite news team. And we are leading up to Christmas, and on our Coffee Wish segment today, we are talking Christmas, a Christmas book that's been written by a local guy. We're going to talk to him, John Snyder. John, come on out here. John <laughs> Snyder from Gambrose, Maryland. Yeah, yeah. Author extraordinaire. Hey, 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 and public doing? relations person when you're not, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. have a sit down Welcome. here. First of all, are you, have you written anything else, or is, is this your first foray into the written word? Uh, this is, uh, in, in this format, in books, I've written uh, magazine articles and things like that, and of course a lot of news releases, but uh, this is my first uh, foray into uh, being an author of a novel. And why did you write this one? Well, actually, this uh, story was um, inspired by a tale my grandmother told me uh, a few years ago at Christmas time. Uh, we were sitting at her kitchen table uh, eating leftover Christmas cookies and sipping uh, some coffee, and I began asking her about her early life and, and asked her what her most uh, precious uh, Christmas remember remembrance was, and she happened to tell me this story, which uh, grabbed my heart and inspired me, and... Um, and I, I okay. started uh, writing the book. As you see, the, the, the book is entitled The Golden yeah. Ring, and I mentioned it's not, it has nothing to do with the mall of the same <laughs> yeah, name in this right. area, right? Right. <laughs> Can you briefly tell us the story without destroying the story? If um, yeah, the, the story itself is set in 1918 in Myersdale, Pennsylvania, and some of it in Brentswood, Maryland, not far from here. Right. And it, uh, it focuses on a, the Beale family, which is my grandmother's family. Uh, it's a family of, of Anna, my grandmother, at her uh, age of nine, and her five brothers and sisters, and her, and her mother and father. And uh, Anna has a very close relationship with her father, Joseph, who's a, uh, an engineer on the B&O Railroad. And uh, throughout the story, their, their relationship come, becomes even closer as they share a uh, series of puzzling and mysterious dreams about the giving and receiving of a ring. And their search for the meaning uh, to those dreams uh, leads them to share an emotional and bonding Christmas experience that lives deep within my grandmother's heart for the next 80 years. Uh, uh, she didn't tell any of us about it until I asked her this. Uh, oh, really? About so it. this yeah, wasn't so this an was, annual uh, story? No, this was a new, a new thing. Wow. And, and it kind of uh, talks about the uh, goodness that comes from giving and the real spirit of the holidays. Kind of like the, Bob, the story Bob tells every year about the fish in the bathtub. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. Another, that's another story. <laughs> that's a longer story. <laughs> but you, you were saying earlier, though, that it's, it's a combination of the actual fact and also there's some fictional aspects to right, it. Right, yeah. I took the, she basically inspired the, the story, uh, and there's a, you know, the, there's a thread of truth that runs through the story, but uh, it inspired me to add some things and elaborate uh, to kind of make it a little more interesting. Yeah. And, okay. uh, so, and it is, I mean, it's a... I mean, it's not just a little tiny book. I mean, it's, what, a couple hundred pages here? And yeah, it's, a, yeah, and it's, it's all a, one hard cover and um, beautifully illustrated cover. Yeah. And, and it, the good thing about it is it, that it, it appeals to uh, anybody from small children up to grandparents. I've had people buy it for their children. I've had people buy it for their grandparents, for their, their husbands and wives, mm -hmm. both sexes. And it seems to me it just has a universal appeal. It's a great family story, a heartwarming uh, Christmas story that the entire family And this is the good. first Christmas that it's been out, so this is a new arrival. Well, on actually, the... I had it out last year, but only in a handful of bookstores, more in the Washington right. area. And, and actually, during the month of December, it became the number one best-selling book in a number of Borders bookstores wow. in the area. Wow, right. right. yeah. And to show you how, how well John's done with this, this is uh, Family Circle Magazine. Uh, right. I don't know which camera to show it to. All right. This is the one, the uh, the issue that is just going out of date, I guess. Right. December 12th. And inside is the Golden Ring. Is this the whole story, or uh, no? It's, kind a, of uh, it's a condensed version of the okay. story. So, um, and also, uh, I, I have a website, uh, thegoldenring.com where uh, your viewers can actually log mm -hmm. on and, and read the first uh, three chapters in the prologue of the book. Right. They can learn a little bit more about me and why I wrote the story, uh, read other readers' comments, and they can even order the book uh, online as well. But the book is available at, uh, at all the local bookstores here in the area. So you and Stephen uh, King are writing online now, huh? Well, I think Steve, <laughs> Stephen has a little bit of a jump on me, and quite, quite an edge. But uh, it is available in the bookstores, and I'll be uh, tonight, actually, at uh, Borders in Bowie from 6 to 10 okay. signing my books. People yeah, can come okay, out and cool. meet me. And then over the weekend, I'll be at Annapolis Mall. On Saturday, I'll be at B. Dalton from 2 to 6. 
and then on Sunday at Walden's Books in Annapolis Mall from 2 to 6, and I invite everybody to come out, and and, uh, <laughs> and even if you don't buy a book, I'd love to talk to you and, and meet you and um, this is tell you a little bit about uh, my story. You've got a busy week planned, and it's news to me that there is a Borders in Bowie, so... <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a very busy one of those. Oh, I'm sure it is. Stories. I'm sure it is. But you're, I mean, not only did you write the book, though, but you're involved with the entire enterprise. You published it? It's yes, I self-published it. I, uh, Which means then you also have to get it distributed. Right, and, distributed. Uh, I, I booked 92 book signings myself. I booked all my media. Wow, things myself. yeah. I yes. even unloaded the truck. But I have to give credit to my wife because she was out there helping me too. In fact, she was the foreman. I was the worker. <laughs> <laughs> so publishing is uh, is quite a business, huh? Uh, yes, it is. All right. Well, again, there's it's the website the again. Yeah. Uh, read it, or you can read the uh, excerpt in Family Circle and get a taste of what's going on. Uh, in case you need to keep awake during all your book signings, we have a special <laughs> gift for you, as well as your coffee with mug coffee to go in it. $50 worth of Bengal Trader coffee. Oh, wow. Uh, available at a rec at the uh, Exxon retailer near you. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. I, I appreciate <laughs> this, and I certainly will need the uh, help staying awake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A busy week. No, you congratulations. Can load, load another truck. Great for us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Truck loader with your book. Thank you very much again. Well, it is you. The Golden Ring Bye. by John Snyder, available at a bookstore near nice you. Nice size. Nice size. Bob likes it. It fits yeah. in his coat pocket. He's already got it. He's walking out of the room with it. 639 will be right back.